Omanote. It's your Morale Omanute, Ava. And this week in the Torah portion, Mishpa team, um, we have received the Torah, the Ten Commandments, and Moses is starting to write everything down. So Moses has carved the Ten Commandments on the two tab, the stone tablets. Um, and is also starting to write down long lists of laws, mishpatim. So it's a big Torah portion. It's the first time we are writing anything Jewish down, right? Um, so up until now, stories have been passed down orally. Um, things have been just spoken. And, um, and now, there is a need to write down so that um, Jewish people can keep passing on these words and laws and um, history um, down to um, the next generations. So the stone tablets, Moses carved into stone, engraved into stone. So basically you carve away each letter. Um, and so luckily the Ten Commandments were pretty short because that would have been a lot of work to carve each letter in stone, right? I just want you to look within. Really loud. Yeah. And then for the longer form text with like the long lists of laws, um, Moses probably used parchment um, or a scroll, right? Um, and ink. Don't forget to keep your head to the sky. It's interesting to think about the sort of the medium that um, that Moses chose to write the Ten Commandments in. When something's written in stone, we even have an expression in English, right? Written in stone. That means what? It's going to last forever, right? Like this is what we believe, right? And we're not going to change that belief. Um, and so um, I thought we could do something fun this week having to do with writing in stone um, and engravings. So there's reliefs, which are when an image or writing um, sticks out from a surface, pops out towards you. Um, and then there is engraving, embossing, etching. Those are all carved in. So they, they are dipping into the surface. Um, away from you. Um, so the Ten Commandments would be, would have been an engraving or um, an etching, right? Um, and so we can um, find engravings and reliefs um, on stone, in metal, um, carved into wood, um, all over the place, like in our neighborhood, in our local park. A lot of the signs and um, whenever um, something is dedicated, um, like a memorial or a park bench or a special site, um, then there's usually um, a sign carved or um, in relief. Um, so because we want that sign to last a long time. So it's put in metal or wood or stone. Um, and so what we can do is take the letters um, and make art with them, make rubbings they're called. So I'll show you some rubbings that I collected. So here is one from a electrical box that was in the concrete. Um, on the in the parking lot of the park um, and this is something that you'll find all over the place are like sewage grates and water grates in the ground um, all sorts of stuff engraved in like the sidewalk and concrete um, this is from a wooden sign it said wedding site but I chose to just um, rub the site and the arrow and this was part of a memorial plaque that was made out of metal that um, I rubbed and this this one was a relief so you can see on the relief um, the letters are in the crayon color or brown whatever you're using maybe pencil um, and 
versus these other ones that I showed you. The letters are not colored in. And instead, what colored in was the white space or negative space around each letter. And that makes the letters come out in the white of the paper. So this would be something that had been carved or etched or engraved that we then rubbed. Same with this. So this was carved into wood, this letter. So you can see there's all different um, surfaces and they create all different textures. Like this was another um, electrical thing in the ground, but it was on a um, much rougher surface. And so um, it was much bumpier. This was on wood, so it was more smooth. It had more grain texture. And you can see the metal was more of a uniform texture because metal is um, doesn't really have much texture um, so much. Um, and here was another engraving, Moses. So for this activity, you can either use a pencil, a piece of charcoal, a crayon with the paper removed, or chalk. And I used tracing paper because um, I like to be able to see the writing and where I'm putting it on my paper. Um, you can also use parchment paper like big for baking. Um, and if you don't have that, you can use any sort of thin-ish paper. And now I'm rubbing off the area where I'm going to make my rubbing um, so that just the texture of the writing comes through, not all the twigs that are on top of it. And I'm going to position my paper on top of it where I want it to go on my paper. And I'm going to start rubbing. It's really important that once you start, you don't move the paper. So either hold it in place with one hand while you rub with your writing hand or have someone hold it for you while you rub. You can see I'm holding my pencil in a way where I'm not rubbing on the tip, the point of my pencil, but rather on the side of it. And you'll want to do the same thing if you're using a crayon. You'll use the, you'll turn it on its side instead of holding it up and down like you usually would on its point. And you'll see the letters starting to emerge onto your paper. So keep rubbing until the letters are fully visible. How y'all doing out there? And continue collecting rubbings as you go on your walk around your neighborhood or in the park or maybe as the week goes on you can collect them either on separate piece of pieces of paper or you can make um, like sort of little poems using um, little uh, phrases that you find you can even isolate letters and make new words I recently discovered this Pyramid to Moses in Joaquin Miller Park, the park by my house. This sign says, Joaquin Miller's symbol of belief in the Ten Commandments, the first of three monuments erected by Miller on these heights. I thought that was so appropriate for our project and for us learning about the Ten Commandments, so I came back here to take a rubbing from this sign. So I hope you have fun with this activity and um, I want to encourage you to make, make your own words or maybe make a found poem using words from different signs or plaques that you find. Um, my favorite one that I did was a combination of, so I did City of Electric, City of Electric Heights. That was my poem of the day. So um, I hope you have fun with it. And um, yeah, talk to you next time. Bye.